First, I'd like to think in Checkpoint that we are ahead of the game. I mean, we invented the firewall where before people talked about cybersecurity and before we found the threats and we've educated the market about the internet and about the need for security. Even today, a lot of our technology and a lot of our differentiation in Checkpoint is about what we call zero day protecting, protecting against the unknown attacks. And when we look at our technology, we have a set of technologies to deal with attacks that are known, and we have a set of technologies which is even more interesting and challenging to deal with the unknown attacks, and that's always an interesting and challenging thing. On top of that, we need to always, I mean, in, in cyber, you don't determine who do you want to deal with. Unlike other technologies, you say, I want this feature, I don't want that feature. In cyber, we have to deal with what the attackers are doing, and that's, by the way, something that many customers are missing. They're saying, we just need that, when in reality, it's not us that determine, it's the vulnerabilities in software and the bad guys who exploit them. I think software developers need to learn more and more about safer and better ways to develop software to avoid that. But on the same time, I think the fact that we got a lot of innovation and the fact that the world is moving forward is a good thing. And the sophistication and the complexity of modern software is unbelievable. It's more than probably any other systems that we know around the world. And at the end, that's good for us, because if we look at the biggest jumps that we've made in the last uh, few years uh, as humankind, they're all based on software. Even new medical solution, even new healthcare solution are based on software and data processing, which is great. And I think we want to move the world forward and we want to move it in a way that's the most innovative. Part of the price is that we need to take care of uh, security and part of it is the job of the developers, part of it is our job as developers of uh, security software. It's very hard to predict what will be the future in any industry. At this moment, I must tell you that we, have, we haven't started really seeing the implication of cyber attacks. I mean, we know, I mean we, we know all the doomsday scripts about the bad things that can happen, and we've seen they are possible. We haven't seen many of them materialize yet, and they will. I mean, there are people there, states, individuals, criminal organizations that are developing very, very sophisticated tools to attack our infrastructure. So far, they've been used in a minimal way. So we know that they exist. We know that they can attack us. So far, they've been used really in a minimal way. And we need to make sure that we are prepared because the message is out there. First, I don't think that everything will be always fully secure because the technology always moves forward. And the challenge, I mean, years ago, we needed to protect the network. It was enough. Now we need to protect the cloud. We need to protect IoT devices. We need to protect workloads. Uh, we need to take care of many more methods of security and combine them together and manage them. So for the foreseeable future, again, predicting the future is always difficult. But the foreseeable future will have plenty of work. I think the world needs to catch up. The world today is about at least 10 years behind in terms of the security technologies that companies use to the security technology that they need and that is available. So I think the message to the world is we need to make the jump, the leap forward and be updated with today's technology. I think the model of agile software and you working with DevOps they, is a good model for the world because it drives innovation, it moves things forward and it also allows us to fix things. I mean, the model when things were, the waterfall model when you got infrequent updates wasn't good for security because it means that it would take forever to get a security update. So in the agile model, you need to get security faster. What we need to make sure that we take security seriously in that model and we need to connect to the right tools. Today, the whole DevOps tools is still in the early stages, like many early stages market. And we need to develop the right processes that will make sure that security is very well embedded into the process. And I think, at least for us, it's a big opportunity and a big challenge to make sure that we have the right tools that every DevOps person can embed the Checkpoint Infinity tools into their work environment. And now we're starting to have really, really cool tools around that that are fully automated, fully embedded into the process and enable secure delivery of software at, at any speed. Cloud is very, very challenging from a security standpoint. It's definitely good for security vendors because that means that we will have plenty more work. Let's remember, when we move data to the cloud and we move data from you know, the on-premise servers to the out there in, the, in any like workload available there, we introduce a huge level of security challenges. Uh, we need to secure that. And uh, by definition, it's more complicated and more challenging. 
Um, I think the move to the cloud by itself has its benefit and it's good. I'm all for technology moving forward. But from a security standpoint, I don't think that people take it seriously enough. People don't understand the level of risk that's being taken when you open the environment in such a way.